In this video, we will see how to generate a polygon from the extent of the raster or and further to get a boundary file from a raster. This will help you in case you have lost your boundary of your study area or, or in case you want to have your footprint of your study area or a raster file, then this video will help you. Now I will remove these output files first. Then we will generate these two files again. So I am removing it. So this is my raster file. And first I will get the extent of this grid system as a save file. And go to geoprocessing, saves, save grid tools, spatial extent and then grid system extent. So this is your grid and extend it will be creating and click OK. So double click here to map it. So this is the extent of the study area. So you can tile vertically like this. Then how to get the exact boundary of this raster? For that we have to go through three steps. First we will be creating a, a buffer of this dam. So go to geoprocessing grid grid distance and grid buffer so select your grid the feature as a dem and then buffer it will be creating and distance you can leave it at default or you can change it and click ok So it's creating a buffer of a grid. It will be a raster itself, not a vector. So double click here. See, this is a grid. Now, you see the original raster is here and this is the outer boundary. So with no data value. So now you can vectorize it. Go to geoprocessing, shapes, shape grid tools vectorization and vectorizing grid classes get the grid system and grid now we will take this buffer one and it, it will be creating a polygon and click ok now this is the vector file now just select this tool, action tool and select this outer polygon, right click here and delete selection, click yes. So this is now your boundary, study area boundary. You can close this window, now you can go for windows and tile vertically. Now this is your boundary of your study area and this is the footprint. Now you can save it like right click here and save as save file. Similarly this also you can save. So this is how we can get footprint of a raster and the actual boundary of a raster in form of polygons. Thank you for watching.